So throughout the history of my channel, I've only ever had three videos past half a million views, two of which are no longer on the channel, leaving me with only one. And that one video is how to penny board, which has been seen like half a million times or something like that, which is crazy. So I figured, you know what? I might as well redo it, make a better version for you guys. And hopefully it does even half as good, who knows? So that's today's video. So when it comes to skateboarding or penny boarding or whatever, there's four parts to learning how to do it. Step one. So when you're first starting, you need to make sure you're on a flat surface. A flat surface will obviously help you stay balanced and you just get the hang of being comfortable on top of the board before you take out any hills or like curbs or, or something else like that. Make sure the surface is flat and smooth. The next thing you need to do is figure out which foot goes in front, your right or your left. For me, I skate goofy, so I know that my right foot is gonna go in front, but if you skate regular, your left foot goes in front. And if you don't know which one you are, try both. The one that's more comfortable will be the way you skate. Step two. So this step's all about pushing off, and basically we're gonna start the same way. We're gonna have our dominant foot on the board, whichever one you chose. And then from there, you just wanna act like you're walking. Now it looks weird, it feels weird, it doesn't seem like it would help. But the reason you're doing this is because the motion of walking with your foot on the board will help you to understand how the foot that pushes off is supposed to move. And from there, you can work it up to like a little faster and faster until you're able to actually stand onto your board. Step three. When it comes to turning on your penny board, there's two types of turns that you need to worry about. A carved turn and a kick turn. The kick turn is not going to be used as much, but it is helpful to know, so we'll talk about it. So that first turn, the carved turn, what you want to do is pretty much just lean one way or the other on your board. The trucks will do the work for you, and you lean while the momentum of the board is already going forward. It's pretty straightforward, it's just as simple as it sounds, and all it takes is a little practice to get the balance correct. Once you have that, it's all good, super easy. The next turn is called a kick turn. This is slightly more difficult, takes a little bit more skill, but honestly, it's not hard either. And anyone can get used to doing this with a little bit of practice. To do a kick turn, what you need to do is put more pressure on your back. That means whatever foot is not in the front of the board, put more pressure on the back foot, less pressure on the front foot, and kind of let the board pop up a little bit. But in most situations, you're gonna use a carved turn because on a penny board, it's more for cruising anyways. It's not really for riding like an actual skateboard. So carved turns are gonna be your best bet. Step four. When it comes to stopping, there's two ways to stop, but one way that I actually think is much better, and another way that I don't actually personally use myself, but I've seen other people use. We'll talk about both. The first method is actually just what I like to call the bail method or jump method. And essentially what you're doing here is jumping off the board while it's rolling in order to either just casually get off or get off in a very quick manner so you don't hit something. So another quick way to stop and another quick way to keep your board near you as well is by just doing a tail drag or something along those lines, whatever you want to call that. Literally this is how it sounds like. You drag the tail of the board as you're riding to slow it down. This this will obviously cause some damage to the board, but overall it's a skateboard, so if you're afraid to get it scratched, I would suggest just not getting one because it's a, it's a skateboard and it's gonna happen. But that's it, so hopefully by now you know how to ride a penny board. If you don't, go rewatch the video, maybe you can find something else in it. I post every Monday, so if you're into skateboarding stuff, if you're into stuff like this, be sure to come back every Monday for a new video on this channel. I'll see you guys next week, and thanks so much for watching. See you soon.